Welcome to Modern Plastics TV the first and largest online TV for the plastics and polymer industry voice of global plastics industry since 2013 We are few hours away from the inauguration of K2025 Here with me Dr Christian from the largest processing association from Germany thank you for joining us here and Dr Christian uh, first I will ask about what are the challenges the processing industry is facing here and uh, what do you expect from the initiative from the government mm -hmm. yeah thank you and thank you for having me here um yeah talking about challenges or also the question of where is the industry standing and i see um that is a multifaceted question well first of all uh, we are seeing in, especially in germany but also to a certain extent in europe and in to a certain extent on a global level really the decline in the economy and that is just something which uh, of course also affects plastics because plastics are used in every product you can think of be it from packaging be it mobility be it construction electronics etc you name it plastics is everywhere and of course if these industries are not thriving then there is less demand for the material and this is something which is um, still which is a challenge of course um, particularly in Europe and in Germany at the moment but not exclusively and uh, what we also need to address is okay how can we still in these challenging conditions make the transformation to a, glo a circular and a climate neutral plastics industry and how can we find a way to really devise new products handle plastics differently use them differently um and then also turn them into a resource once they have become a waste at the hopefully long end of their life what are the biggest challenges like uh, as you said energy is a bigger challenge energy pricing uh, do you expect a, a reduced price for the energy in europe well what we are seeing is that there are indeed initiatives to um reduce energy prices for the production uh, for the production industry overall not just plastics but for the overall production industry there's has several elements to it first of all it's about building up uh, renewable capacity so building up renewable energy and making it available at an affordable price um it also is a question of efficiency so for example in germany we are currently undergoing a review how effective the energy transformation is being handled in germany and does it really make sense to design and to uh, prepare the respective capacities which we are at the moment planning or can we somehow reduce the capacity because we have uh, we may not have the exact demand at a certain place so in short make the um, energy transformation more cost effective and so i really see that this is something politics are uh, is reacting to and is addressing so i do expect that for the energy intense industry electric prices Uh, will become more affordable in europe what is what is your association doing for the sustainable initiative there are so many you are doing mm -hmm. what are the latest innovation uh, in, uh, initiative you are doing for the sustainability we have as a plastics pro production industry on european level set ourselves the north star which is a so called transition road map and that transition road map <laughs> really depicts a picture where do we want to be in 2050 we want to be climate neutral and we want to have a shift from fossil fuel uh, fossil based raw materials to an overall 65% of non fossil raw materials by 2050 and so um in order to achieve this we really have a variety of measures which we need starting from better design of plastics reuse systems um building up on mechanical recycling adding chemical recycling and using biomass So we really try to address all elements of the of the plastics uh, feedstock and the plastics design in order to become climate neutral and circular by 2050. The last question is what message you want to give it to the industry and the common people who are the users of plastics. I would start with the common people. I think plastics is a great material if it's being handled well. So I think um appreciate the products you have. think about what products you buy and try to make sustainable choices and then also try to handle them in a sustainable way as far as possible for you because then uh, you will be able to really enjoy the benefits the plastics brings to all areas of life be it hygienic food clean and warm housing medical products 
but you can enjoy them with a good conscience and um, I think that is, uh, that is something worth doing. Sustainability and energy saving also you come and see the latest technology power of plastics in Dusseldorf from 8 October which is tomorrow and we see you there we are there to give you more knowledge and make sure to see the latest technologies here in Dusseldorf thank you so much thank you so much for joining us we wish you all the best thank you yeah, thank you so much for your time and come visit our booth in Hall 6C40. Thank you.